All right, listen up, maggots. I am Drill Instructor Ruin Sim, and if I were to make a lucky guess on why you're watching this video, it's because your sorry ass is currently banned on Roblox. If I had anything less than two nuts hanging between my legs, I'd say something along the lines of, you broke the rules, you go to the penalty box. Lucky for you, both of my testicles are still in my possession, and I know better than any of you that Roblox moderators are some of the most unreasonable, unpredictable, and unacceptable form of authority on the internet. If you make it to the end of this video, you will be a Roblox support weapon. You will be a minister of moderation, praying for bans. But until then, you are pukes. You are the lowest form of life on Roblox. You're not even a member of the fucking site anymore. Your mission is to get unbanned. And to Roblox customer service, you are nothing but another whiny fucking brat who asked for a second holocaust and got a reasonable sentence for doing so. I will teach you the battlefield that is the Roblox appeal process. And the first step to understanding any battlefield is understanding your enemy. Roblox customer support agents are some of the most cold-hearted, lazy, bureaucratic piles of shit on whatever face of the fucking planet they're outsourced from. Do you think they give two shits over three fucks if you're sorry for what you did? If a moderator personally came to your house and fucked you in the ass, their first question would be, what did you do wrong? The first thing you should know about the customer support agent is that they do not care. They do not sympathize. They could watch a city's worth of children's accounts turn to ash in the blink of an eye, and you would not hear so much as a goddamn sniffle from them. If you are to appeal successfully, you are to abandon any idea that the person on the other end of your email has any ounce of respect for you or the pathetic role-playing surrogate you call your account. Once you get that through your thick fucking skull, it's time to move on to strategy. Roblox moderators are somewhat human. They make mistakes. The machine that reads and processes your appeal understands this. And from my own personal experience, 90% of successful appeals are the result of a perceived moderator error. What moderator error does not mean is a moderator accidentally tabbed out of Pornhub while working and misclicked the ban button next to your username. What moderator error can mean is your post or message was taken out of a broader context, which would make it less vile and disgusting than it appears. Let's say, for example, I get banned for posting on the forums, I'm gonna shoot everything that moves. Clearly, this is grounds for my account being deleted, because at first glance, this post appears to be threatening mass murder. However, it is entirely possible that this post could have been made in the context of photography. I could appeal this ban and claim that I had posted a threat about landing a job as a professional sports photographer, and that my plan for my first gig would be to shoot photos of everything that moves. This would likely get my account unbanned regardless of whether or not this was the actual context of the ban. The truth is, customer support agents do not have the time or patience to review the context of every appeal, and if your case is good enough, they'll probably have you unbanned without even fact checking a single fucking detail. So if you want to play by the books, your best chances of survival are to use the argument of context, even if that means lying about it. The second most important factor in getting your appeal accepted is life. Pretend I'm a customer service representative. You know what I think of when I see this appeal? DENY! Jesus fucking Christ, what a sob story. I have places to be, I have things to do, I have porn at home waiting to be masturbated to. I don't need to make my fucking eyes bloodshot staring at your 12 paragraph long cry for help. I hardly have the reading comprehension to finish a fucking sentence. If your appeal is too long, it will be rejected. Your appeal should never be more than three lines long. Even if you're great while well, if text is read and comprehended by an agent, they will hate your fucking guts for making them read it. They will want you to stay banned. Not because they think you are wrong, but because they think you deserve it. By shortening your appeal, you make the agent like you more and greatly increase your chances of getting unbanned. The third and final property of this mighty battle for your account is attitude. Remember what I just said about agents liking you? If you type out your message like some bratty shitbag who's so mollycoddled you're still breastfeeding, you'll almost certainly get your appeal denied. Be respectful, be polite, suck up to the almighty artificial intelligence email bot you're up against. If the agent that gets your appeal senses you have a stick up your ass, deny! 
The best advice I can give you in terms of attitude is to type your email with no emotion. You must show no fear, no joy, no determination. And goddammit, if you try to be a smartass, you will be disregarded harder than U.S. Senators disregard the grieving families of soldiers killed in action. Roblox is a bureaucracy. Only lacking policy where it hurts the community the most. The only way to stay alive in such a hostile environment is to use your overseer's laziness and incompetence against them. Hopefully you've learned something, Private. Now get the fuck out of my sight and start working on getting your account back, maggot!